I'm gonna have to take these bracelets off. They're clinking everywhere. Hi, so today I'm doing a Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. I have a lot of new products to try out. I feel like I have a lot. Excuse me, I just have brows and hair. And my hair looks really odd when I don't have makeup on. It's like, wait, what's happening? It's just like, whew. But once I get makeup on my face, it's a lot better. And I need to color my brows again. Remember when I did that video where I, I dyed them or colored them? Um, they're dark again. So, and I feel like it's only been like two weeks. But I have this Kat Von D Interstellar, not Interstellar, which I thought it was. Interstellar, which I didn't know was a word, but we're just going to go with it. I got this. I ordered it from Sephora. And... I Instagrammed about it. It's gorgeous, but I have a feeling that I'm not going to love it. I I shouldn't say that. I wanted the quality to be, like I wanted the shadows to be as buttery and amazing as the Monarch and the Chrysalis, which I don't know yet if they are. I have a feeling that they're not, but I haven't put this on, so... I don't know. So we're going to try this today. This is the main thing that I think everybody kind of wants to see. Um, I also have a few new like drugstore products. I have a couple lippies I want to try out. So we're just going to play. So Maybelline Dream Wonder. I haven't used this one in a while. I'm in the shade Natural Beige. Hopefully I'm still in this shade. And what brush do I want to use? Um, I'll use my Morphe G6 brush. So I was so full of anxiety yesterday waiting for the Sons of Anarchy premiere not premiere I wish it was the premiere finale I was like my blood pressure was up <laughs> just I get so invested in these shows and I already have primer on by the way benefit professional um I was like I just had this pit in my stomach all day and last night when I was watching it I was I bawled, I think, for the entire last hour, and then after it ended, I cried for another, like, half hour to 45 minutes. My poor husband, he just sat there and just kind of looked at me, and at one point, he just went and poured me a glass of wine, sat it down in front of me, and just, like, patted me on the shoulder and walked away. I don't think he knew what to do. He was looking at me, probably thinking... This bitch done lost her mind. It's a TV show. I mean, I was sobbing. And I'm not going to give any spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, don't worry. But I was just so freaking emotional. And I woke up this morning feeling totally drained. And de totally defeated. I'm, I'm defeated. And Hunter's on his way home from college for Christmas break. So he just called me about, I don't know, like a half an hour ago, and he's like, Mom, I'm having the worst day. I got a parking ticket. And I'm like, it's okay, I'll pay it, don't worry about it. So then he calls me like 10 minutes later, as he was driving home, and he's like, I almost just died. That is not what you want to hear come out of your child's mouth, especially when they're on the highway. He said that there was a tractor trailer that, it's snowing right now, um, a tractor trailer must have gotten in an accident, which he didn't see that part, but then it was like right around a bend. So all the cars that were going around the turn had to slam on their brakes. Somebody ran into the guardrail. <sighs> Jesus, Jesus. But he's okay. He's okay. So I just, you know, you hear those words. I almost just died. And I just like, oh my God, I can't take it. Sons of Anarchy, my kid, it's too much. Oh, shoot. I had a new primer, actually two new primers, this Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti-Shine Balm, which I usually don't like these kinds of things, but I was going to try this out, and then I got the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer and Base. Well, that was shit. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to use MAC Pro Longwear, because I haven't used this one in a while, and this is an NC20. Oh, and I have swatches on my hand. And I'm going to use my Morphe G2. Oh, and by the way, guys, Morphe sent me their gunmetal collection in, what video was it? Oh, it wasn't a video. It was on Instagram. Someone commented to me and said that I'm using a lot of products that have been sent to me. I get things sent, what was it? 
I get things sent to me. I'm a YouTuber. I mean, we all do. And I probably don't get half as much as most of the YouTube girls do, like that have bigger channels. But, I mean, does that bother you guys that I use products that were sent to me? I don't use like 80% of the things that I do get sent because they're not good enough to make it to my channel. So I hope that doesn't bother you guys. I only use the things that I really do like and these brushes, I think these are the best brushes I've ever used. I've been using them like over everything. So I don't know. I'm going to use my NARS Loose. This is my favorite one. I do have a bunch that I like, but I like this one the best with a uh, small tapered brush. And I'll zoom you guys in for the eyes. Don't worry. I know we're kind of far. Is that in focus? <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I asked that question, I'm using my NARS Pro Prime. So trying to think of what I want to do on my eyes. I guess we'll just play and use as many shadows as possible so that I can get a feeling. I mean, I'll know right away if I like the palette. I really hope I do. I almost returned it. I took it to Sephora with me to return it. And then the girls that work there, we were kind of looking at it. And I'm like, you know what, maybe I'll just keep it. So in my crease, I don't know, maybe I'll take this shade. I feel like there's not a good crease shade. But I'll take that guy. It's like a matte, like taupey, kind of purpley shade. On a Sigma E25, a dirty one. My brushes are filthy right now. So, okay, let's see. Oh, oh, it does feel nice. See, you guys are going to get mad at me because on Instagram I was like, I don't think I like it. People get so pissed off. I'm human. Sometimes I like things, then I don't. Then I do, then I do, then I don't. Then I don't, then I do, then I don't. Then I do, then I don't, then I do. Okay, that looks nice. Once I put my brush into the shadow, it looked really soft. Okay, I'm going to take this silvery shade. Oh, and it kind of matches my nails. Um, this is a L'Oreal color. I'll put it down below. It's new. It just came out, and it's so pretty, but I kind of jacked it up. Um, anyway, back to the eyeshadow. I'm taking this silver shade on my finger, and I'm going to put it on the inner part of my lid. I like it. I had to think about it for a minute. It's really nice and soft. It is. I'm, okay. I'm not going to say anything till I'm sure, but my initial thoughts may have been wrong. Don't hate me. On the outer lid, I'm going to take this shade here, and I'm probably going to add in some of this darker, like brighter purple, but I'm going to start with this guy. And I'm going to use a... Uh, What's this? A Morphe G15. It's just a flat shader brush. I'm going to take some of this taupe shade. It's like a goldish taupey shade and put that on my lid. I don't, I'm just playing right now, you guys. I'm just putting it right where those two shades meet just to add a little bit of something. Oh, that's kind of cool. They look kind of cool mixed together. The cool toned with the warmer toned. Now I'm gonna take this purple shade on an E25 from Sigma and I'm gonna put a little bit in my crease. I'm nervous. just like in the outer part of my crease. And I'll blend that out in a minute with a clean blending brush. It's all about the blending. Blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that darker purple that I just used and actually put some on my lid because I feel like things are just kind of dark 
but I want some color, like brighter color. <laughs> Did that make sense? No. And I'm just gonna brighten up that silver shade because I feel like I lost some of it. And I'm actually gonna take more of that, that gold taupe shade, this one. I like how that looked on my lid. So I want a little bit more of that. I like that weird contrast, like I said. Okay, I'm gonna tight line and do my waterline and I'm going to use this Ooh, gorgeous Cosmetics Carbon Black Ink Liquid Eye Pencil. And they sent me this and I love it. It's a really, really good black eyeliner. I think Gorgeous is a kind of pricey Australian brand, but mm, this is good. On my lower lash line, I'm going to take this shade, this big one in the middle, um, just with a flat shader brush. Just get a, oh, that's really soft. That's what I wanted. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna take some of that purple, that brighter purple on the outer edge. Okay, and then on the inner corner, getting this brush clean on my pajama pants, I'm gonna take that silver shade right here. And you guys know the drill. You guys know the dillio. I know I always do these like brighter inner lid and then darker on the outer part. I cannot do a dark lid or like a solid lid. It just does not look right on me. It makes my eyes look so tiny. This is what works for me. I know people are probably like seriously, but it's what works. Now we're gonna try this Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I don't think I've ever used a Bobbi Brown mascara, but I got this from Sephora. It was like a deluxe sample with my points. So I wanna try it out. Sorry if my mirror goes in, sorry. I'll try to keep my face on camera. What? Hey, this doesn't look too bad. Okay, I am mad at you, Bobby. Oh, and I didn't do any liner or anything. If you want to, go for it, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of any fancy eyeliner. Wow, this is a really nice mascara. It's lengthening. It's kind of volumizing, but it's not clumpy at all, and it doesn't feel heavy. I've never heard anybody talk about this. But it's pretty good. And this, what was it? Smoky Eye Mascara, whoa. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna savor every last drop of this little sample because I will not spend Bobbi Brown prices. A mascara is probably like $50. But damn, this is nice. Oh, and it's making my lower lashes really like fluffy, which I love a fluffy lash. We're gonna take this guy right here and we're gonna highlight. Cause we want these massive, uneven, craptastic eyebrows to be on display. Okay, so for bronzer, I don't think you guys have seen me use this product yet. The Girlactic Matte Bronzer in Cabo. I've been using this for like two weeks. I like this better than NARS Laguna. I'm saying it. Freaking saying it. Look at that. It's so, oh, maybe I did show this in a, I think I showed this in a video, but it is gorgeous. I mean, so freaking good. I recently was sent some products from Girlactic. They sent me a little box of things to try. Why have I not known about this brand? I mean, they are good, like really good. I am obsessed, I'm saying it, I'm freaking obsessed with this bronzer. It is so gorgeous. I love it so much, and I'm using my NARS Eda brush. 
I never knew about this brand. I mean, I knew they existed, but I don't hear people talk about them very often. This is like one of my new favorite brands. I need so much more from the brand. I'm going to place an order. So if you guys have any Girlactic products that you love, um, let me know because I, like I said, I was placing an order. And I'm going to pay for the products by myself so nobody can say, oh, you're just talking about it because they sent it to you. Nope, I'm talking about them because they're freaking amazing. Okay, and then for blush, I'm also using a Girlactic product. I'm using Milan. Hmm. It's so good, you guys. You know I love pink blush. And this has like a dusty, I don't know, it is glorious. Where's my brush? I'm going to use the Sonia Kashuk. What are you? 29 brush. This is so soft. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. It's just like the perfect amount. It's like not too intense. It's not too light. And this brush, I love. This Sonia Kashuk 29 brush. So freaking soft. <gasps> oh, I could just sit here and put this blush on all day. It's so gorgeous. I'm getting really into blush. I was never a blush person. I'm turning into one. Yeah, just a little bit more. I know. Whoever puts blush on this long, I do. And for highlighter, we might as well keep it going with the Girl Actic. I have Natural Face Glow. It's, um, it's not as intense as I would normally go for. Here, I'll show you guys. But it's really pretty. See? And I'm going to blend. Don't worry. I'm going to blend everything out, girl. This is amazing for your inner corners. Oh, I didn't I didn't do my inner corners. I'll put some of this on so you guys can see how it looks like concentrated in one area. It is really, really mm -hmm. nice. I'm telling you, this brand, don't count them out. Freaking Girl Lactic. I feel like nobody talks about them, but... They're good. I know this video is not sponsored, I swear. <laughs> okay, so, oh, lips. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have a few new lippies I want to show you guys. So the first one I'm going to try is this Wet n Wild 503C Will You Be With Me. That's the weirdest name. It sounds like a stalker. Will you be with me? I got this for a dollar. This is, I think, a new... Lippy from Wet n Wild, they have like a whole new line out and everything's one dollar. So for lip liner, I'm going to use Bound because my skimpy one is low and I don't feel like sharpening it. That's the truth. I do like this one though. It's a little dark though. See how pretty it is. <laughs> oh, it's really creamy. <laughs> I hate that word. That's really pretty. Oh, I have like chola lips going on. <laughs> that lip liner may have been a little dark. We'll make it work. Okay, I need more of these. Seriously, not even joking. If you would put this in a line with like Makeup Forever, Bare Minerals, like really nice creamy lippies, you would never be able to pick this out as being the dollar lipstick. It's so nice and mm, I am freaking impressed. Settle down. I'm not even trying out the other lipstick. I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's a ColourPop one. So I'm going, I'll show it to you guys in my ColourPop video, which will actually be my next video. So it's okay, you guys are still gonna get to see it. This is incredible. I'm so in love, impressed, happy, joyful. Let me put some setting spray on. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender. Um, this is it, you guys. I hope you like this look. Okay, this Interstellar palette. I do really like it. I think the quality is very nice. I think the colors are really nice. But I do not think it's as good as my Monarch and my Chrysalis. Would, should you purchase this? Would, should you purchase this? 
Um, if you already have the Monarch and the Chrysalis, getting this I feel like is going to be a little bit of a letdown, just a little tiny bit. If you don't have the Monarch and the Chrysalis, you need them first. There is nothing better. This is good, but I feel like it's not as good. But I do like it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to return it. I am going to keep it because... At first, I didn't think the quality was going to be good at all, but it really is good. It's great compared to a lot of other palettes, but comparing it to the Monarch and the Chrysalis, it's not quite as good. It's very close, but it's not quite there. So, yes, I do recommend it. I have nothing bad to say about it. Everything worked really well, blended really well. I've spent too much time on that palette. But you guys, the freaking star of my show is this Wet n Wild Lippy. Will you be with me? 503C. Holy shit. This is good. I mean, and it's not getting on my teeth. I'm, what the hell? Oh, another thing. I'm sorry. We're probably already at like a half an hour long. But one other thing. Where is it? This Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Girl. Where have you been all my life? I mean, I have some... Let me zoom you guys in and show you these freaking lashes. I mean, they are like... Now, I have long lashes to begin with, which I've told you guys like a thousand times. But that's pretty good, right? And then you can see my eyes. I like how everything turned out. I think it looks really nice. Okay, we're too close. Goodbye. <laughs> so, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with a ColourPop video. I'm showing you guys some of their holiday sets and there might or might not be a little surprise in that video. So make sure you guys tune in. Um, yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Bye. What is dude? Look at this. No, he knows he's not allowed on those snowmen. Off the snowmen. Look at that. Are you supposed to be on the snowman? Duke? I mean, it's like, throw somebody off of a cliff and claim that they slept kind of lip product. Like, that's, that's, that's called murder. It's so smooth and creamy, but it's not like sliding around. It's not getting on my teeth. Oh my God. I'm going back to the dollar store and I'm buying the entire collection. And I'm buying like eight of these. I said eight. So I do think it's very nice. I can't stop staring at my eyebrows. Good. I mean, even though it's called interstellar, which is not a word, but how many times have I said things that weren't words? I mean, put it in your pork chop. You know what I mean? Like, no. You can't get mad at other people for using words that aren't words because you tell people to put it in their pork chop. <gasps> my baby's home. My baby's home. Did you guys see my flash tap? It's kind of cool, right? Yeah. He just, like, went ham hock on Hunter. Like, ham hock. Yeah, you and then he lays get off of my snowman! Duke! Yeah, fall off. That's what happens when you're not supposed to be on it. Get off on my snowman. I really, honestly, am going to just shave everything off and just... I'm, I'm not going to have eyebrows. Let's try that for a change. I'm shaving them off, and I'm just not going to have eyebrows. I think I'll be much happier that way. Why is the mailman here? That bitch better have a package. This is... I'm telling you, this is the best Wet n Wild lipstick I've ever, ever used. I'm sorry, I'm so excited right now that I want to, like, scream and do all these things that I know normal people don't do, so I'm trying to hold it in, but sweet baby holy Jesus. Shit my pants. It's a good day to have a good day. And this? I'm sorry. All of these good things, though, the mascara, the lippy, the, the eyeshadow, the freaking the, the bronzer. <sighs> my heart can't take it. I can't take this. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, a bitch did. What? My husband just left. <laughs> what? So overall, I really, I like this look. <laughs> there are no camel incidents happening today because I have pajama pants on. There are no constrictions happening or tightness or cutting or slicing or dicing. Unless I'm doing it to myself. <laughs>